I'm doing my favorites video. This would be for the month of February. So I hope you guys like everything that I have to show you. Um, if you want to see this makeup look, be sure and check out the video on it. I'm not sure if it would be up before this or after this one. I think it will be up after. But I am using a lot of the products for this look that I mentioned in my favorites video. So be sure to check back on the Thursday after this one is up. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's get started. So first off, um, it is starting to warm up here, so I did self-tan yesterday, and I'm going to be doing that a lot more. Um, I think I'm going to look into some new self-tanning products just to use along with this one. This is my favorite. I will probably never not repurchase this. Um, this is my bottle from last year, and I'm actually ordering one um, as we speak for this summer, but this one lasted me all summer last year. It is a little pricey, but... I think it's $50. I think I'm going to get the two hour express one. This one you have to wait six hours to wash off. The other Loving Tan two hour express, you have to wait two hours and then you're good to go. So I am going to be purchasing that, which I think that one is around $50. But it lasted me all summer and I was able to, I still have a little bit of this left to use. So it lasts you a long time for the price and it is amazing. There's no streaking, there's no issues with this. Um, and this is in dark and I am pretty pale this was this winter so it worked great for me I think I'm gonna get ultra dark I've heard a lot of great things about that one as well so this is gonna be my favorites video for this month and I will be using it all summer long another tanning thing that I love that I purchased last summer um, and still loving to use it is the Sephora gradual self tanning face water um, it says on here it's sun in a bottle it's super easy to use I think this was $15 and it lasted me all summer and I still have a lot left but I just apply this either before I put on my makeup or at night after I've washed and cleansed my face and this just apply it with a little cotton pad um, and it helps tan your face up and gives you a little bit of a bronze so it's not very intense and you do it you're not going to see it after the first couple of uses you have to continue to use it because it's gradual but I really like this I like the smell of it it's not harsh on my face it doesn't cause me to break out um, it doesn't leave it greasy it just feels like you're washing your face with water so I really like this product it was a great investment and I will be definitely using it again this summer my next favorite I got in my boxy charm. Um, this is Beauty for Real. It is a dual. It's a blush and a highlight. This is the blush in Coral Crush. Um, I am wearing it here. It's just very natural. It's very easy to blend out. It is more of a cream, um, but I'm very impressed with this. And then this is the highlight in High Beam. I'm wearing it now underneath another highlight, but it's very natural as well, but it really does, it helps that highlight last longer. If you want something more intense, put it underneath another highlight. But these are both just very, very pretty, very impressed with these, and again, this was in my last month's BoxyCharm. Another item from my BoxyCharm is the Ofra Banana Powder. I've used it here, so if you want to see again it being used, you can check out the video after this one. Um, but it is an awesome, this is the refill that they have. It's used in palettes and kits. I'm really impressed with this, um, and I really do like it. I thought it would be a little bit too yellow, but it doesn't seem to be. It just really brightens that under eye, and it looks great. Then it, I have a lip gloss, which I'm wearing now with some ColourPop um, items as well. But this is the Sephora brand lip gloss in Shiny, and I really love it. It's just a, kind of a light pink. I really like the applicator. It's very soft. It's easy to bend, and this lip gloss isn't too sticky at all. It doesn't really bother me, and I love just the little pinky shade that it gives to any lip color. Then, this is my biggest favorite for this month. Um, I know this has been out for a while, but I just recently recently purchased it. It's the Carly Bible Palette um, with BH Cosmetics. It's a 14 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette. I got it on sale. I think normally it's $20 on their site, but it was on sale for $15, I believe. And these are your eyeshadows up here, and then you have your highlights. They're very, very pretty, very pigmented. I just did a tutorial using this palette, and I also used it in the look I have today. Um, but I love this palette. I have had it for 
probably two weeks now and I have used it every single day whether it being all I use or just doing it as an inner corner or the highlight whatever it may be I love this palette so much it was a great investment and I'm honestly probably gonna buy another one as a backup so this palette is definitely my favorite it's very pigmented very inexpensive it's just amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that like button down below if you did. And please